Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today I will draw a gecko. I'll use this 2 to 3 mechanical pencil and I will try to loosely sketch the shape of the head, which is sort of triangular. Then, on this general shape, we can begin adding some of the detail, such as the orbits for the eyes, which stick up like this and then down here the nostrils all right i make some parallel guidelines to go straight and i correct the position of the eye they have long reptilian pupils <laughs> On this part below, they have soft, loose skin. Let's draw an arm over here and his body, his hand with his toes and his shadow. I'm sorry, I will erase this eye entirely because it was too close to the other one. Let's measure, I'll make it more far apart, as it should be. And a little lower. I had erased my guidelines. <laughs> okay, I think this is correct now. I trim the line slightly with a thin eraser. By the way, the list of materials is in the information below the video. A lot of people have been asking me about the 2 to 3 mechanical pencil, which is now available again on Amazon. Geckos are a type of lizard and they comprise about 1,500 different species, all in warm weather. Most of them are nocturnal. I switch to a larger and softer lead for the darker tones. Their eyes have adapted for an excellent night vision, and they are 350 times more sensitive than human eyes in regards to color perception. So practically, they distinguish colors in the dark as we do with light. And talking about color perception, I filled my pencil with a blue lead because I want to deliver this effect of the blue eyes on the otherwise black and white drawing. As you saw, I first did the shading in black and white, but then I changed my mind and erased most of that shading and redid it with blue. Their skin has something similar to large scales, which have been observed to have an antibacterial property, killing germs and bacteria in contact to the skin. Most gecko types have no eyelids, but they have long tongues and they lick their eyes to clean them from dirt. <laughs> They are pretty funny when they do that. About 60% of the gecko types have adhesive toes, which allow them to climb vertical, smooth surfaces easily. A recent study has shown that gecko adhesion is mainly determined by electrostatic interaction caused by contact electrification. So as they walk, they produce like mini magnets and these amazing feet are also self-cleaning and will usually remove any clogging dirt within a few steps. The surfaces that don't transmit electricity, such as Teflon, are much harder for the gecko to climb. I'm drawing the cast shadow and then we can choose to smooth it with a stump, with a blender. I will also smooth out and blend some of the skin. This also gives a tone and can be used for shading. After blending, we reinforce some of the darkest shades. And then with an eraser, we can pull some lights. We give it the last touches, the last details, and it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to Fine Art Tips, and click on the bell to get notifications of new videos. And I will see you on Tuesday.